Hey, this is Wayne with Anton Appliance out of Richardson, Texas. Today, a customer brought us in a Uline wine cooler that he said he's having a little bit of problem with. He said it's just not cooling as well as it used to when he first bought it. So what I'm gonna do is check it out. More than likely what it needs is a little bit of Freon in it. So what I'm gonna do is turn it around, take the back off, and we'll see what's going on with it. I'll throw a gauge on it and we'll go from there. Now that I have it flipped around, I'm just gonna remove the screws that surround the whole back of the machine. I've already taken most of them out. And now we can see the compressor area where we're gonna have to add the Freon. This one actually already has a service valve welded on. So it looks like they've had problems in the past with the Freon leak. So let's see how low the Freon is on it. Grab the low side of the gauge. And at this point, I just plugged it in. I don't know if you can see that. But we're in a vacuum, about a 20 pound vacuum. So this system is completely out of Freon. So now what I'm gonna do I'm going to grab my jug of Freon, or if you're at home, you can use a can of Freon from the auto shop. Any 134 Freon will work on this. I'll hook my jug to the charging port of my gauge. And since this is 134, I'm going to charge it as a gas, so it means the jug's going to be upright or the can's going to be upright. We're not going to charge it as a liquid. I'm going to purge the air out of my charging hose. And I'm going to begin filling it. With this system, I'm going to bring it up to about 10 to 15 pounds of pressure. Almost there. And in my other videos, I've showed you how to put stop leak in the system, how to weigh in your charge. This is just the very basic of how to charge the system. Once you have a service valve on it, if you have your Freon, without stop leak, without weighing in the charge, without pulling a vacuum, it's just adding Freon to it. Okay, right now it's sitting at about 14 pounds of pressure. It's going to drop a little bit. It's right at 13 now. So what I'm going to do is let that sit there. And what we're going to look for is the evaporator, the coils on the inside of the unit to get a good frost pattern going all the way down the back wall. Then we know that our pressure is good. And what we'd usually do at this point is leave it overnight, leave the gauges hooked up to it, and check in the morning and see how bad this leak is. If it's leaking out that fast, then we're going to have to go with our leak detector and we'll have to find the leak and fix the leak. If it's not that bad of a leak, then we're just going to seal it back up and it's going to be good to go. Okay, it's been sitting overnight now. And as you can see, it's right about 15 pounds of pressure. That's right where I left it yesterday. So if there is a leak in the system still, it's gonna be such a micro leak that we'll never be able to find it. So now that we have it all filled up, charged up, it's cooling good, 
We're just going to put it back together and it'll be good to go. You can try this at home with just automotive Freon 134A. You get a pair of cheap gauges from Home Depot or your nearest hardware store. Or you can always give us a call at 214-916-0337. We're out of Richardson, Texas. We run the whole Dallas Metroplex and the Collin County Metroplex. We have a $45 trip charge. Or you can always bring it in to us right here at 75 and Arapahoe in Richardson, Texas, 75080. And until next time, thank you for watching.